Welcome to Salt Lake City's Rubik's Cube competition. We have competitors from all over the city, all competing for the title of world's fastest cuber. Along with that title, we have a grand prize magic egg to give away for the 3x3 competition. I brought my favorite cube just for this special day. Grandpa, that cube is way too big. Yeah, I know. But now that I'm older, I just use it as a chair when I need to sit down. I used to practice for hours and hours. I've been playing since the 80s. And no, that's not the 1880s. <laughs> These are some dedicated Rubik's fans. They don't take any days off. These are my kind of people. I should probably do some kind of Zingo Marathon competition. Why put all those hours of watching the iPad to waste? Ben, this is really a kind of art. There are algorithms to solving these cubes in less than 10 seconds. Elja, what? You know, algorithms, like in math class. You're talking school talk. I'm on vacation. Done, what's my score? Let's have a little fun before we cast a spell on the magic egg. Wait, what happened? Disqualified. Ah, oh, geez. What are they doing over there, Grandpa? Those are competitors for the 3x3 blindfolded, and those over there are the 7x7, and those others are the 6x6 competitions. So tell us again, Grandpa, what are the fundamentals to beating a cube? Well, okay. Number one, you should remember that solving the Rubik's Cube is one of the hardest things you can do. Done. Done. I'm done. Hey, was that a dog? Just forget what I said. First, remember that the middle square doesn't move. Kind of like Gwen when she's watching a Twilight Marathon. Ha! No, kind of like when Ben is trying to figure out what he's going to eat for supper and he's looking into the refrigerator. Next, there are three types of pieces on a cube. You can't solve for just one face of the cube. Um, is that a concession stand over there? That was a great lesson, Grandpa. Keep up the good work. Huh? Let's get back to watching the professionals. Let's keep the alien changing to me and we'll leave the cube solving to the pros. It looks like they're about to finish things up. It came down to those three. What happened to the last guy? I thought there were going to be four. Oh man, didn't you see it? He was practicing for the four by four and froze up. He had a panic attack or something. He's not speaking in complete sentences and is lying down in the corner. Must get grand prize. Listen up, I think they're announcing the winner. I'm pleased to announce that we have a new city champion in the 3x3 competition. And the winner is Hudson Smith with a time of 8.9 seconds. Yay! And now for the grand prize. I know you've all been waiting to see what's inside this big egg. But before we open it, is there anything you'd like to say? I'd like to thank each and every one of my adoring fans for following me around, posting pictures of me on Instagram, wearing my t-shirts, and handing me water bottles when I've been thirsty. Thanks for that. Now, Hudson, will you do the honors? I can't wait to see what's inside. It's your very own life-size Power Ranger, specially modified to be your biggest Rubik's fan. If you press the button in the back, it gives you the boost you need to make your personal best time. Check it out. You've got this. Faster, I know it's possible. I need one of those to get me motivated to get out of bed. This day has went incredibly smooth. Knock on wood, but I think we're going to get through the day without seeing. Dude, why did you have to go and say that? Did you think I'd let you enjoy your little cube competition without a glitch? Come on, Hex. Really? A Rubik's competition? I thought about joining your little constellation party in Colorado, but I saw that Steam Smythe was already on the scene. 
two reoccurring antagonists in one episode is a bit much. How about having a big red bully to put a damper on things? Just give up. You can't do this. It's just too hard. Hey, get that thing away from me. Leave me alone. Who's this guy anyhow? Me? I'm the most powerful master magician you will ever meet. I'm part of the magic club at school and we practice every day. We're pretty good too. Silence! How dare you insult me? Let me see how well you can magic yourself out of this situation. We need to get this Power Ranger back to the good side of the law. What did you have in mind? I can't think with all that music coming from the piano. Can someone tell him to keep it down? Sorry, just adding a little music to add some drama. How about a little extra bump to knock that Power Ranger back into place? Be careful, Ben. I think he may have more than some negative words to throw at you. It's hero time! Hey, Dinosaur Head, why don't you go back to the Triassic period where you belong? Give up, square face. Practice doesn't make perfect. Quick, throw that big Rubik's Cube at him. Bad shot, game over. Oh man, what did he do to that Rubik's Cube? It like exploded or something. I think the party is over. We'll have to tango another day. Adios, Hex. One bad guy down, one to go. Hurry, Ben, before he reloads another insult. Sit down, Grandpa. You're done. This is a young person's game. Oh, yeah? Well, take this. Whoa! I had no idea you still had a good arm. Score one for Team Grandparents. It looks like Hudson forgot to take home the grand prize. Can we keep him, Grandpa? The only way you can keep him is if you can reprogram him to sweep and mop. Otherwise, he should go. I think we can work something out. <laughs>